Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from Stay with Gates. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, we were dealing with physical device memories and, and device cues. And in the other tutorial before that, we were doing uh, enumerating physical devices. In this tutorial, we're going to be digging a little bit deeper in and we're going to show you how to create a logical device not a physical device but a logical device and if we go to our vulcan programming guide it tells you what a logical device is the logical device represents the device in an initialized state uh, after enumerating all of the physical devices in the system, your application should choose a device and create a logical device corresponding to it. That's exactly what we're doing. We already enumerated all of the physical devices in the system. I showed you how to do that in, in two, three tutorials ago. And now it's time to create the logical device. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do, we need to add some code to our some more structs to our our, our uh, code that we already have in this case it will be the struct the vulcan device create info struct and also uh, we're also going to be creating this one right here the uh, struct vulcan device queue create info okay and if you let me show you something else here we're going to be finishing up the chapter on the vulcan uh, programming guide and we're going to go all the way to the end where you're dealing with uh, with the layers and dealing with extensions going a little bit deeper into them i know we mentioned them before but this is the time where you are actually enumerating the layers enumerating instance extension properties and looking at at, at what they do and also we're going to show you how to uh, basically shut down cleanly because once you create the logical device it's like uh, you just read in that chapter, it's, a, it's an initialized state. So it's actually being waiting idle. So you got to make sure that after you're done, you shut it down cleanly in order to avoid any memory leaks. So we'll be doing all of that in this tutorial. So let's just get started. We're going to be using part of the same code that I had before. And I tried, uh, I didn't want to go and, and start writing with you because we'd just be wasting time. Uh, I'd rather take the time to, to explain and keep the tutorial short. So basically, we're adding the vector include here that was not there before. I tried to put here the new to things that are new. Here we're creating the device. We're working with the logical device. Things that I'm not using in this tutorial, I, I commented out not to get in the way. And things that are new, this is pro this is new. We're using uh, discrete queue priorities and, and, and we uh, queue uh, and find out how many are there. Okay. We continue going down. This is old from the last tutorial, so nothing has changed. I commented out this section here. This is only going to confuse you. And we go into the main entry point of the program, the main section. As you recall, this was done already. In the last tutorial here, we enumerate the instance later. Actually, this is no, sorry. This is, was there before, but now here, this is no. And this is very important because this is where we're enumerating the instance layer properties. These are the layers. So basically very similar to what we've been doing. The int amount of layers, because it's gonna give us a, an int enumerate the instant layer properties, a reference to amount of layers, a null pointer, 
fork and layer properties called layers, a pointer to layers, create new Vulcan layer properties, amount of layers, and then just like we did with enumerate physical devices, as you can see, we're repeating this line here with the exception that layers takes the place of the null pointer. We've been doing that over and over again, and by this time you you hopefully you you're seeing a pattern here. Basically, we continue doing the same thing that we have done in other tutorials. Uh, we do the same loop that we've been doing. As you can see, we're here now. We're doing the amount of instance layers, amount of layers, do the loop to go through all of them, and then just print them out by the use of the array, using the layer name, spec version, implementation version, and the description. So it's just going through the loop and getting, giving us the properties. That's basically what we're looking for. This is for the layers. And now we do the same thing for the extensions. As you can see, this is doing the same thing before extensions. We do the same thing here. As you can see, you enter into a amount of extensions, enumerate instance, enumerate instance extension properties, null pointer, this is three, so three parameters instead of two. So it's a null pointer, reference to amount of extensions, which is this right here, and another null pointer. And just like we did here, Vulcan layer properties layers, we create the Vulcan extension properties extensions. And then a new with the amount of the extensions. And just like we repeated the same line here, we also do the same with the extensions. As you can see, this line and this line are the same line except that extensions takes the place of the null pointer. And you've seen that over and over again. And like I said, maybe you start seeing a pattern. Here we pr print out the amount of extensions. We do a loop to chose, give us the amount of extensions, just like we did here. Just like we did here. And we continue going down. Here, there's a vector being created. That's why we included vector because of this guy right here. And this gives you the validation layers and the Lunar G standard validation that we've seen before. We continue. And this is, this was there before. Uh, what else here is new? This is new. If you don't add this line here, it will give you an error because it's looking for a float. So make sure you you do this change here. And most importantly, related to this change, make sure that when you do the float, which is Q priorities array, and then all floats, you change this from null or null pointer to the name of the queue priorities. That's also no. So as you can see, no, no. This is also no. And this is no also. So this is, this I showed you before. This is what I was telling you at the beginning of the conversation. And where is it? It's here. This is where we start creating the Vulcan device queue create info. And uh, if it's clearer, it's much clearer here because it just shows you the struct and this guy right here. So basically, this is what we're doing in the in here. So it's just we're repeating just like we've done before. Vulcan device queue create info, just the name that changes, but everything else is just a struct. Device queue create info as type, pnex, 
flags, Q family index, Q count, Q priorities. This will structure type device Q create info, and for this create info is Vulcan structure type device create info. So we continue. So make sure, obviously, you see this is no. So if you want to continue following with me, you got to make sure that these two things get added. This line here is also no, where it's a Vulcan create device, and then it's physical devices and array. Reference to the device create info, which is this guy right here, the null pointer, and then the device that we are creating. Check the result to make sure that there are no errors. And finally, two ways to destroy. This is the uh, well, waiting idle, because remember, it's, it's when once we create the logical state, it's in an initialized state. So that's why it means this waiting idle for the device until it's working, 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 and then we destroy it. Remember, we have to destroy the device and then destroy the instance. And if you, I, I, this is also another way to do delete layers and delete extensions. But if you're using an old pointer and you destroy it through the instance, this is not necessary. It might be overkill. I might be wrong, but uh, I just give you also this choice in order if you want to use it. So now that we we went through the whole program, I'm going to put this in my GitHub page. And I wanted to show you something here. Let me clear this. Because this is we did this before. And uh, and now you see where these things are coming from and, and how it all relates together. So now if we run Vulcan info, and let's pipe it to less so we are able to read. We did this before. And you can see it gives us the Vulcan instance version number. It gives us how many instance extensions, 15, and the name of them. It lists them for each one and the revision number. It gives us the name of the layers, in this case, six, and the name of each one of them, Vulcan Layer Google, Vulcan Lunar G Object Tracker, and so on. Now you're going to know how we can do the same thing that the Vulcan Info command can do, but we can do it ourselves. So let's just do CMake and Make, and then just run Properties, and there it is. So you can see. Let's start with the extensions. Amount of extensions. Amount of extensions, count 15. Amount of extensions, 15. Name, Vulcan KHR device group creation, extension revision one, revision one, same thing. Uh, let's go to the end. Vulcan extension display surface, surface counter. Vulcan extension display surface counter. Revision one. Revision one, and this is where the extensions come from. And this is using Vulkan info, the Vulkan info command, and this is using the the code that we just did for creating a logical device. Because you gotta deal with layers, <coughs> and you gotta deal with extensions. <coughs> Excuse me. In this case, now we de here we deal with layers. So let's show you the layers here. And same thing. Amount of instance of layer six, amount of layer six. What are they? Google unique objects, Google unique objects, Vulcan layer lunar G object tracker, Vulcan layer lunar G object object tracker, and so on. And as you can see, go to the end here, 
Vulcan layer Google threading, multi threading, Vulcan layer Google threading, and the implementation versions. Implementation versions, where are they? Uh, version one, there it is, layer version one. And there you go. As you can see, this is how important it is, uh, uh, this, this uh, tutorial, because it shows you how we can deal with layers, how we can deal with extensions, how to deal with layer properties, extension properties, and how it all relates to the uh, logical device and physical devices. This is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day. Take care.